Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Minshine if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. I am very excited for this video. My dreams have come true and I have bought not only the Hourglass Vanish Concealer but I also bought the Hourglass Seamless Finish Concealer Brush, the new one that goes with it. And so that makes this officially my first hourglass brush. So let's have a look. I feel so luxe. Oh, it's just beautiful. So we've got our plastic and our foam. So the shape of it is so beautiful. It's quite tapered, so you can really get underneath there. What I'm gonna do is test the concealer with the brush on my left side and with the beauty sponge on my right side. So I have been using this. I tested it out in Mecca and I've tested different shades and I ended up going for creme. Basically there are about three shades I could have purchased and I went for this one because I don't have a cool toned concealer really and because I'm quite neutral, a lot of my foundations and concealers are cool and warm because it's so hard to find neutral. Let's talk about the packaging. We have the frosted glass packaging with the traditional brown shiny packaging top that they have. And then when we open it, we've got quite a big doe foot. So this one's gonna be brightening for me. I want to go back and get one that's more of a color match to my skin tone and a little bit more yellowy, neutral yellowy. Uh, so I can have two different ones because you'll see. Now all I've done in terms of makeup is I use the L'Oreal Pro Glow as my foundation. I've done a little bit of cream bronzing and I've done my eyebrows and that is it. So what I want to do is do concealer and then after I'll go finish my makeup and we'll do the review. I'm going to get my concealer. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. You can go straight in with the doe foot, but I think for good control, I'm going to go in with the back of my hand. So I'm just going to tap that in. So she's definitely got full coverage. But you can see, it's not blended, but you can see that it's not drying. And it's quite a thin consistency. Look at that instantly, wow. This brush is nice. It's getting up there, but without actually stabbing my eyeball. Like it's very soft and very easy to blend. There's absolutely no streaking. It's just really blending in. And I usually do my cream bronzer first because it can look kind of, hard, it's hard to blend. So when you do concealer after bronzer, it's much more blended, I find. So we can already see a difference, right? Ugh. But I used hardly any and look, like I look like I am six months old. Let's go in with the Beauty Blender. Okay. Now I have an aging spot here that I got when I was pregnant, lucky me. This is a true test of a concealer, is if it can cover my age spot, which isn't even that dark, but it always shows up because I'm so fair. I can still see a little bit of it coming through. So, just gonna dot it and then tap it out lightly and she's gone. So if you prefer a beauty sponge, this applies just as nicely. 
as if you use a concealer brush because they're both really well blended and both have really nice coverage. The only thing is I think I used just the tiniest bit more with the sponge because it did soak it up. But other than that, it, it looks really good. Now I'm going to try and spot conceal this. If we can see my little shiner. Yeah, I mean it's done its job. It's just totally covered it, so. That's good. Now what I'm going to do is, because this is for more under the eyes, I'm going to use the beauty sponge to just do a little bit on my T-zone. Like, it looks so nice. What I'm going to do is go finish my makeup and I'm going to come back and give a proper full review on the product. Okie dokie, so I finished my makeup. I'll link down below the makeup that I have worn. So on the Mecca website, the concealer is described as a concentrated concealer that delivers unbelievable coverage and an undetectable finish. The long wearing crease proof and waterproof formula hides imperfections, dark circles, discoloration, blemishes, age spots and hyperpigmentation. Microspherical powders fill in lines and ensure a smooth and even application. Skin looks natural, brightened and refreshed from morning until night. The formula is vegan and cruelty free while the applicator has unique flexibility for added precision. And it includes white tea extract which can reduce redness, inflammation and the look of wrinkles over time. It definitely improves the look of wrinkles, I tell you that. It retails for $52 on the Mecca website and we have, it looks like 21 shades from what I can see on the website. Uh, so that's exciting. How do I feel? Oh, how much is the brush? Let me tell you how much the brush is. The brush goes for $58 and it is matched for the actual Vanish concealer and that is sold out online. So you'll have to get that in store. Let's get to reviewing. I absolutely love the formula. It is full coverage. It is a thin application, so it's not a thick consistency, and it blends seamlessly. So, I used to set the concealer in my T-zone and under my eyes, I use the tiniest, tiniest bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with a little brush, and it set really beautifully. I don't think it changed the... It definitely matted it down a tiny bit because obviously it's a powder, it's going to do that. But it hasn't taken away from the luminosity and the natural finish. I mean, do we need to talk about the packaging? It's perfection. It's luxe. It's sleek. It's gorgeous. Now, what would I rate this out of 10 tacos, guys? This is a straight up 10. I am so, so, so so in love with this concealer. It is everything I've been looking for. And I did say I have tried in store other shades and they were just equally beautiful on my skin. That's why I'm like so surprised I can wear different shades. I'm like blown away that I could switch between a few different shades, which just shows that they've done a good job at doing different undertones. I'm really, really impressed. I'm really impressed. I will 100% be getting another one of these and this is going to my everyday concealer type of usage. I'm like, I know the price point's high, but sometimes the price is worth it. And in this case, the price is worth it. So that completes my review. What did you guys think? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you can continue to see my reviews and my other Australian focused videos. If you're not Australian, that's totally fine. I still do reviews that are available internationally. Other than that, that completes this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.